Is Timu yarn really worth it? I scoured Timu to find the most unusual yarns just to find out if it really is as good as they say it is. And believe me, I was amazed. Hey Yarny Peeps, my name's Sarah, aka Crocreate. Stay tuned to see what I bought. Was it worth it? And are all Timu products really worth the astonishing five star reviews that they normally get? So quick disclaimer here, folks. I know Timu isn't for everyone. And believe me, it's not as cheap as everyone thinks either. Not all of the yarn I got was at a cheap price. I spent £17 on one of these balls of yarn. So stay tuned for that. However, some of the yarn that I bought is more unusual and a little bit cheaper than it is in the UK. So without further ado, let's see what I got. As you can see and hear, I have unwrapped the package off camera. I had to. There was a few other things that I ordered, not for me, in there. Our first ball of yarn is this loopy yarn, 100 grams. And it has 36 four and a half star reviews with pictures as well. I love a review with pictures. First glance, it's super soft yarn, really, really nice, made with this nice loopy effect. Beautiful colours, absolutely fine on first glance. Let's swatch it and see what it looks like when it's swatched. Okay, so I've swatched a little bit. You can't really tell what it is. This is user error. This is nothing to do with the yarn. This is, I can't use loopy yarn, sort of. I've never worked with it before. And that's one of the reasons I bought it because I really wanted to try it. So I've just done a bit of a chain and some double crochet stitches, which you can't really see. One thing I did notice is that if you don't use the right hook or splits and you can see the string that it's all attached to. That said, we've had no fraying, we've had no shedding and it's so soft to work with. I can't wait to figure out how to use this yarn. Ball number two, cotton yarn. It's a little bit flat still. Cotton yarn, beautiful colour, organic cotton. Now I know you can get cotton yarn absolutely anywhere and everywhere, but the thing that caught my eye was that it was organic and I thought it was really rare to see a lot of things that weren't man-made on Timu. So I wanted to see if they did have something that was completely eco-friendly in this ball of yarn, labels falling off, and to test it out to see if it is as good as what you can buy here in the UK. First impressions, it's super soft, really nice cotton yarn. There are a little bit that are, because it's so strandy, coming apart from each other, but let's swatch it and see what it looks like when it's swatched. <laughs> So here's our swatch. One thing I will say is this yarn really is super soft. Centre pull that I tried was going great, didn't last that long, got really, really knotted up. The yarn itself, it's super soft. It's quite easy to work with. The one thing that I would say is it's got 10 strands in there. It can start to get a little bit splitty. However, not bad. Is it better than anything I can get in the UK? Probably not. It's the same price as anything I get in the UK. I'm probably not going to go out of my way to buy it. Ball number three. Now this is an unusual yarn that I've not seen here before in the UK. So I don't know if you can see, but it's a yarn with a sort of thread attached to it with all of these little pom-poms on them as well. And it's just something that I'd never seen before. I've never worked with anything like this before. So I just thought it'd be a really, really nice way to give something new a go. And also an unusual yarn if you wanna try it yourself at home. First glance, again, it's super soft. It's 50 grams. All the colours running through are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to get this swatched up. This is my favourite yarn so far. Look at the colours. It works up so, so good. 
it's not like stiff and horrible you have to crochet a little bit um looser than you normally would but it's so pretty it works up really easily the pom-poms just sort of fit into their own little space it looks amazing this one this is a 10 out of 10 for me and i will definitely be ordering some more of this ball number four is a chenille yarn chenille yarn is super popular right now so i couldn't not get a ball of this first glance you can see the color is amazing it's so so soft the only thing is this is not a chunky chenille this is a dk chenille you won't be able to see it here but i can tell you now that i am not using a six millimeter hook for this baby we are going three three and a half millimeter hook max that said it feels and it looks and it's as soft as a chenille yarn so let's swatch it up and see what it looks like when it's swatched So this is our swatch. This yarn very much reminds me of the Sador Happy Chenille yarn. It's probably a little bit thinner than that. This yarn is great if you love working with a DK yarn but you also love working with chenille. The colour's amazing. It's just not for me. Ball number five. Ball number five is a t-shirt yarn. Now I hope you can see the amazing colours on this yarn. It's absolutely gorgeous. First glance, absolutely fine. The reason I bought a t-shirt yarn is because in the UK you can spend between four and nine pounds for a roll of t-shirt yarn. Now on Timu you can get 200 grams worth of t-shirt yarn for two pounds 69. So you, you know, you, you're getting a save in there. This looks and feels exactly like any t-shirt yarn I've ever worked with. Is it really as good value as it seems? Let's swatch it up and see. Another absolutely amazing buy. Not only are these colours beautiful, I don't know if you could see on camera, but I didn't really have to put much work into this at all. Like, it was so easy to crochet with. The hoop glided through the stitches because the yarn's a little bit, um, sh like, springy. It meant that it would assist me going through them. It was just really nice. It curls up a bit, like so, when you're crocheting, but easy to flatten, easy to pull out into shape nice and sturdy fabric a really really good buy and finally the most expensive ball of yarn i have ever bought 17 pounds on timu this is not your ordinary ball of yarn this is giant yarn so giant in fact that it's the spool itself it is on is so giant let me get it i'm not 100 percent sure that you're going to be able to see me behind this look at how big this ball is oh my god but then look at how chunky this yarn is now i'm not naive i know what this is for this is for your 15 20 millimeter hooks finger crochet finger knitting arm knitting it will be really good for first glance it's so soft absolutely beautifully soft really really nice i'm so excited to crochet this up with my fingers to see what it looks like so let's do that <laughs> is amazing you guys i can't get over how good it is this yarn is super expensive if anyone knows where i can get my hands on some of this any cheaper or if this is the right price is this the price to pay for this yarn please let me know in the comments i absolutely love it it's soft it doesn't hurt my hands when i'm finger crocheting with it the fabric's sturdy enough you could make like Oh, well, what could you make? What are we making with this? I've, I've got a new finger crochet video coming on in my waters. 
give me some ideas what am i going to make with this you guys what do you want to see a tutorial for absolutely amazing absolutely love this yarn quick fire review time loopy yarn three out of five cotton yarn not the best not the worst three out of five t-shirt yarn absolutely amazing five out of five chenille yarn not the best not the worst you can get it better and cheaper in the uk two out of five pom pom yarn oh my god if i could get more and more and more and more of this and i would five out of five and finally the beastie of the group this finger crochet yarn five out of five please let me know in the comments where i can buy this from in the uk and is it as expensive as i got it from on timu Thank you so much for watching you guys as always please like this video please subscribe and leave me comments down below where's the cheapest place you've bought yarn from have you bought yarn from timu was it different to the yarns that i've got here if you have let me know in the comments leave a link to it and i'll go and check it out all of the yarns that have been in today's video have been left in the description so go and check them out for yourselves the videos go up on the channel every sunday between 6 and 7 pm uk time thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one